guys welcome to my channel and today we're going to be accomplishing this look right here using NYX products this was the first time for me using the NYX pore filler and I prefer it more than the Maybelline's baby skin because it dries matte and it also makes my pores look less visible Onto the eyelids now and I'm just using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm using this as a primer and I'm using my fingers to blend it. Now off camera I spot corrected with my NYX Concealer in Nutmeg. Now I'm onto the Love Contours All Palette and I'm just using the Brown Matte Eyeshadow as my transition color. Now guys this powder was more powdery than I thought but it's not too bad because it's very pigmented but if you're using this you may want to be careful i had known that it would be this powdery i would have applied the nyx jumbo pencil in milk after doing the transition color no i'm just using that metallic bronze color as my lip color and this wasn't as pigmented as the brown one so i think i spritzed my brush with some water but it's still was good enough I think so I did that on the other side as well and now I'm just blending the lid color and the transition color with a blending brush so I decided that I wanted some more definition so now I'm going in my outer crease area with the purple color and this color is very pigmented and I'm using a blending brush to apply this. So after doing that, I decided that I wanted my eyes to pop a little more. So I'm just going over my lid area with that shimmery bronze color. And as is customary, I'm just blending everything with a blending brush. Using a damp beauty blender now to just blend out the areas that I spot corrected. I was like, I really don't have space for that big pimple, but you know what? I'm just gonna have to work around it. Now I'm using my NYX foundation in Cocoa, which is a little dark for me, but we can make this work. And I'm using a damp beauty sponge to blend it out, guys, and I really love applying my foundation with a beauty sponge seriously now i'm adding some of that same purple powder into my outer crease area because i think the foundation took off a tiny bit so we're just fixing that back real quick now i'm highlighting with my nyx concealer in the shade tan and this is one shade lighter than the one that i used to spot correct which was nutmeg so i apply this to the areas underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose and my chin Now I am using a concealer brush to blend that out very lightly. Then I'm blending the concealer with a damp beauty sponge as always. So I'm tying my scarf and I'm just adding foundation or just blending the foundation into my hairline. So now I was trying to apply the NYX setting powder in translucent guys and it was white. So it really wasn't working out for me because guys I have a warm undertone and because the foundation that I use was not like the correct shade. If it was warmer, I could have just used this powder and it would have been okay. But I had to go in with like my camel powder because I needed to brighten up my face a bit. So 
So I'm sorry, guys. I had to use this powder. No, I don't really usually do this step, but we had the product and it's an all mixed video. So I went ahead and set it with the bro gel and I really think it worked. And here I'm using the eyebrow powder that they had from the palette as my contour. And guys, <laughs> maybe this was a bad idea because it was really dark. But you know what? I wanted to use as much NYX products as possible. So yeah. Besides, the actual contour color that they had in the palette was really too light for me. But as you can see guys, on my nose... I really messed up so I ended up having to use that contour color to fix what I had done with the eyebrow powder. So this now is the actual contour powder. Dusting off the excess powder now. And I'm going to go back over my face with the NYX finishing powder in translucent. So it actually worked in this case to finish off the look. So it was okay here. So because I never lined my waterline, I'm just going to add some of the same shadows underneath my eyes. And I'm just going to set my face with my NYX setting spray in matte. When I saw this lip gloss, I was like, how on earth is this going to work? But guys, after applying the lip gloss, I must say that I really, really love this lip gloss. Like, I would actually buy more. It's so cool. Now I'm just doing a little bun situation with my hair and guys I'm doing this in less than 30 seconds guys so now I'm applying this highlighter in the palette and guys this highlighter came broken and I fixed it now I'm definitely going to upload a video on how I repaired the broken highlighter. So guys, I applied my eyeliner off camera, which was not NYX by the way, and I'm applying my mascara also, which is not NYX. Sorry guys about that. Applying that to my lower lashes as well, and I'm going to go over with some more highlighter. guys i hope you like this video i hope you comment and share and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell guys see you in my next video guys peace out so i got these in japan guys and i made a vlog for the christmas event so you could go ahead and check that out and see you in my next video